Welcome, Welcome to, to a, a couple, couple of bunkies. bunkies. We're going to be doing some gardening today. We have a small raised garden in our back porch which needed some work. There were some wooden boards that rotted because nobody put a plastic or a tarp type of material between soil and the wood. So we started off the process of uh, emptying out the flower bed and getting the boards to length in order to replace some of the rotten boards inside of the flower bed. After doing some quick measurement, we went ahead and cut the boards to length. We didn't need to be really perfect here. So I'm using just one board as kind of a template and uh, going ahead and uh, cutting the other boards to length based off of that. I've been just uh, toenailing the boards into the side of the flower bed to hold it into place. That small bunch of chives is the only thing left after a small animal raided the garden. So we had to replant it, but we had to put the new soil down first. Okay, and this is the reason why we're replacing a lot of the boards. Yes, the boards were so rotted that they just fell through. Okay, so now we're going ahead and trying to cut that angle. Now, I don't know exactly what angle that is, so I aligned one board uh, vertical and one board across the angle, uh, found the edge, and struck a line, and then cut that angle. We repeated that process to fill all the gaps. We had an old and dripped apart solar pool cover that we decided to use as a plastic barrier between soil and the wood. So I went ahead and spread it out the tarp and I went ahead and got a board that was cut to a certain length so I could roll it up along that board uh, after cutting it with the knife. So Tim started cutting and I started rolling the board along with the cut. Uh, it was really fun to do that. We head back over to the flower bed to install the tarp. So we rolled it out and trimmed it to fit the garden. We wanted to have it just overlap the edges of the garden uh, just enough so it wouldn't cause any problems. At the end of the garden, I ended up uh, drilling a small hole and putting a pipe in for drainage. Once we had the plastic wrap around the areas we needed to protect, we started putting soil back in on the garden bed. After we put enough material in there, we uh, knocked it down and leveled it into the corners in order to make a nice even layer across the entire flower bed. Taking the soil out and putting it back in was the most time consuming part of this whole project. As of right now, we only have one shovel, so having two shovels would have really sped up this entire process. We put the chives in at this point in time, but unfortunately, the camera angle doesn't cover it. We realize we need to put more effort into setting up our camera correctly. We are still learning. As I continue to add the fill dirt to the garden, Aditi continues to plant the onions. After all the dirt was filled back in, Tim went ahead and took a board across the garden to level it. And now we go ahead and clean up the area the best we can. We had some planters with soil but no plants in them, so we started transferring that soil onto this flower bed. While Aditi was transferring the soil from the planters, I went ahead and fixed the screen on the raised flower bed. Uh, these screens are really important to keep small animals out of the garden. Hey Aditi, do you know how you can find out more about our channel? Go ahead, tell us! Uh, we have a lot of social media pages uh, in the link below and we even have an Etsy store and a Maker Mage store where we have our own SGV files for printing some of the things that we make. Oh, so we can just check out the description for all the links? Yes, check out the description for all the links. And also subscribe to our channel. Your donations are appreciated as well. That's right, you can make donations to our channel on BitChute. Our BitChute page is also listed in the description below with all of our other pages. We came back after a couple days and we started to plant some of the seeds inside of this garden. We have tried to raise a garden using plants in the past but this time we just thought we would do it with seeds. So what we are doing is basically I'm taking my finger and pressing them 
pressing it into the soil and slowly dumping the seed into each one. We did maybe about four seeds to each hole. Each type of seed has different requirements how deep it needs to be buried under the soil. That specific depth and other instructions are located on the seed packets. We also decided to separate the garden by putting chili seeds on one side of the garden and assorted herbs, chives, and onion on the other side. After we got done with the specific row, we took the seed packet and placed it at the end of the row in order to identify what was planted in that spot. Then we went ahead and sprinkled some water on top of the seeds. As it was going to rain that night, we didn't water it too much. And as you can see, we have chives, onions, and herbs on one side and peppers on the other. And now we go ahead and close the gate away from all the little critters. During spring, gardening is not the only activity you can do outside. There are so many neat things you can do, either in your backyard or in the woods or wherever you are. Look at the manly man as he goes and builds a fire just using one match. We have quite a lot of trees where we're at and we have a lot of downed trees. So we gathered up some limbs and downed material and went ahead and made a small fire and got rid of some of the boxes that we were using in order to move dirt for the garden. Sitting next to the fire after a hard day of work is a very rewarding experience. Thank you for watching this video. Please enjoy sitting around the fire with us.